Hello everyone, my name is Sik and welcome to the Tarawa Betio map from Faces of War, where we are playing as a Japanese army, basically doing a, a heroic last stand against the American hordes. Um, yeah, the idea is that the Americans took the entire island, um, we are just over here in this corner, and we're trying to hold off against an overwhelming number of American GIs heading our way. We have some uh, defenses of course, so we are dug in. All of these guys are on, on our... Well, it doesn't look like it, but they're on alert. They're keeping a lookout. And in a short amount of time, we will make contact with the enemy. I hope. But um, yeah, one thing about this map, it kind of kills my frame rate. Just looking in this direction. I don't know why. It's like if I look to the back, the frame rate just jumps up to 60. And if I look in this direction, it goes down to 30. And I think it's because of all the trees and the foliage. Though, really, it isn't that much worse than the, than the, uh, than Tanoa by Bohemia Interactive itself. So, not sure what's going on there, but um, it's still playable. And I think it has something to do with the, these defenses as well. Because when I go down and look at this, usually the frame rate goes down a bit. And when I look up and zoom into the forest, the frame rate goes back up a little bit. So, not entirely sure what's going on there. But it's not entirely stable by at least my first experience right now. Still, it doesn't really matter, it's still fun, it's still enjoyable, and we're going to have some fun holding off the American forces. And I hear some gunfire on the right, so looks like things are kicking off. We do have a few um, guys that we can come back to, like we can soul switch to about two guys, and they are in different rings. So there's a guy somewhere in this ring, and there's a guy somewhere in this ring, so if I die, we can basically kind of, sort of fall back to that position. Other than that, I am expected to die, and it's just a question of when that happens. Because there are a lot of Americans coming our way, and I mean a lot of Americans. We are dug in, we have good defenses, but that's not going to hold us, it's not going to protect us forever. So, we'll see. We'll see how I do. I'm not going to be talking too much for the duration of this video anymore, I don't think. It's not a whole lot left to tell. It's a great mod, you should check it out for sure. Uh, I saw a head there, I think. And of course, I am still running the Death Creep mod as well. So, in this case, we are playing as the, or the Japanese army counts as Blue Force, so you will hear the Japanese scream and gurgle in English sometimes, which is a little bit disorienting, but there it is. <laughs> The Americans will also, by the way, use English occasionally, because they are the independent faction. But if you hear them talking on the radio, you can hear it's the, uh, it's the Iranian voices. The, um, uh, what's the language called? The... Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, I can't remember it right now. Oh, crap. Where are you looking to? Bro, defend the beach. Another guy just went down on the left hand side, I can hear. Oh, there's one. Did I get him? Oh, I got that one. Just saw his little head pop up there. Yeah, this is very much like this entire map. Of course, there is an. Uh, a Tarawa map in Red Orchestra 2, or in Red Orchestra 2 Rising Storm, actually, to be more precise. And it very much reminds me of that, and actually, it kind of makes me want to play it. Oh. Yeah, there's some movement there. Just take some shots into the grass. You never know if you hit something. This guy isn't doing much. Wow. Yeah, that was a guy. Oh, damn it. Fuck to head back. Meanwhile, I'm trying to keep a lookout to the left as well. Oh crap. <laughs> Alright, first man down. First line of defense. Let's switch over to... Let's see. This guy right there. We are in an area that's a little bit more quiet now. Most of the contact still to the front, which is good. 
We have our NCO with the uh, oh, I forgot what name this is. No. Let's have a look. See if we can support our front line from here. Still some guys in the front line there as well as in the bunker. Which is good. There's an American right there, ah, and he's down. That's good. I mean, most people would tend towards the Americans, but I'm, I'm, I've been playing Americans in so many games for so long now, I just want something different. I want to be able to play as the Japanese army or the British army, you know, things like this. Also as the German army. Like in the case of this mod, I played UK first, now the Japanese. Probably the next one I would do is as the German army. And lastly it would be the Americans, for sure. I am kind of fed up with playing Americans in games. Oh crap. I heard some incoming fire there. Oh crap, yeah, they are onto my position here. Better move. Oh wow, that's a lot of exposure that I'm not entirely comfortable with. And of course we are fiercely outmatched by the Americans with the M1 Garands as well, so... Oh, got contacts on the left flank as well, by the looks of it. Uh, bunker guy just went down. Alright, the Americans are definitely getting the upper hand now. Not good. I had hoped to hold out a little bit longer than this, but... Yeah, we have a lot of movement in the trees there. Alright, one more chance. <laughs> I was just listening to the death scream, it's just... Uh, that one gets to me. I think it's one from the Rogersa too. And uh, oh, this guy is shooting at people as well. So he's got some contacts so you can see. Hopefully we can hold out a little bit longer over here. Ah, I see some movement in the trees. I'm going to do my damnedest to try and survive as long as possible. I'm going to up my rifles to 200 meters instead of 100, because the Americans are still in the, in the tree line over there. And 100 meters doesn't seem to be hitting them as well as it, I should. Ah oh, crap, he's just out of... Got one there. Oh man, come on. I'm going to have to try to find a winter. Yeah, it's too bad that this uh, that this mod doesn't have Russian units in it as well, because I would have tried to find a winter map and then. Did a little Ostfront uh, campaign, probably, or not a campaign, but like a, just a, a video on the, like the Eastern Front. That would have been nice. Though I suppose now Chernerus will do. In fall, maybe, or the summer version. I have those as well. But I don't know. I, don't know. I, I would like to have like a Russian to fight in the in that scenario instead of the Americans or the or the or the British, you know, in Eastern Europe. Some movement. We have a lot of dead people now. See some legs there.
I'm curious to see how the other flanks are holding up. Like, our right flank should be dead by the sounds of it. I think me and this other dude might be the only ones left. And I think maybe it's time to switch back to 100 meters now, because they're getting closer. Um, let's see. I'm going back inside. Crap. And this is another example of why the Arma 3 stance system is so cool. Because you can just adjust your stance until you're exactly the right height for little windows like this. I mean, I, I'm, getting, I'm under fire from somewhere. Ah, I see some movement. Wow, that's a little bit of, a little bit too much of a head jerk here. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. Oh, come on. Yeah. He's still alive, is he? Yeah. I think we can hold out for a while here. At least until these guys reach up all the way to our bunker. Alright, now we should be dead. Wow. Again with the head turret motion. Damn it, okay, he's still alive. Let's have another check on our flank here. Oh crap. Now it sounds like I might be the last guy alive. Yeah, he's down. What did what what is he firing at? So we got a oh yeah, that's still our NCO over there. Ah, got movement by the building. Crap. Man, it's so important to hit all of these shots and it's so hard. I mean, it's, this is a great weapon for a distance, but once they get close, man, and if you miss, that's kind of it. I mean, there's much, m much fewer Americans left than I thought there would be. I mean, I had like six or seven full rifle squads heading our way, and I only had a few riflemen standing or uh, positioned throughout this uh, little defensive position here. So, yeah, I wonder what's going on. Are we actually going to win this? That would be very surprising. Probably the other guys are just hiding and just crawling around in the underbrush for now, but. Man, I don't know. I do not know. Let's have another check uh, on our flanks here. I am the last guy alive now. Is it? Am I? 
I might not be. Oh wait, I hear a scream now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there was a guy alive still here. Oh yeah, probably this guy. But uh, no more. Right, and again, I talked about this yesterday as well, but this would be so good to have like a bayonet attachment right now and be able to do a Banzai charge. It, w it would fit this theme perfectly. You know, the Japanese were pretty famous for their Banzai charges, so... I mean, being able to do that right now it would've be, would have been great. <laughs> I mean... Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, you're nice. He's down. It's probably not alone, though. Nope. Not sure what he's shooting at, though. So probably maybe there's even another Japanese soldier alive here somewhere. Crap. Gotta reload. Damn it. Stay there. I see his head. I might be able to... Did I hit it? No. Ah, he's on to me now. Crap. Looks like I have about nine clips left. So I gotta make do. Where did he go? You know, and I would go for these little pillbox bunkers, but I tried one of those before and it doesn't seem to be of a, a proper height. I don't think. I'm, I'm gonna try to see if this one is a little bit better, but... Let's see if we can see anything from here. Close the door. We could see something from over in this one. Which is nice, but then this one is, it's too high for crouch, it's too low for the standing. I mean, and I'm in it, yeah, this is like the high crouch, it's still too high, normal crouch, is, it's too low. This one is kind of, feels a little bit useless, because you cannot open up these windows. But the sides are okay, actually, you can do a lot for the sides here. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to stay in here for the rest of the video. Come on. <laughs> Let's try to advance. Somebody saw me there. Let's get this Thompson. We killed a lot of them. Oh crap. We killed a lot of American soldiers. Surprising, really. There we go. Is this? Oh, it's a rifle. Another rifle, another rifle. Alright. I was hoping that maybe we could find, like, uh, a Jap- Oh crap. A Japanese SMG, but apparently not. Where? Where are you? Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Finally, I got overrun. Alright, so that's it for this video, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys for the next one, which will probably be a Wehrmacht uh, video in the same 
vein as the one I did before for the UK. A little bit more of an open engagement where we are going on the attack, I hope. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for that one.